Welcome to Questpons YouTube channel and what are we learning today? Today we are going to go and talk about the difference between abstract class versus interfaces. When you talk about C-Sharp interviews, this question is one of the most asked questions. So I'll be discussing about the core difference between abstract class and interfaces. Also, I'll discuss about the specific tipping point, you know, where abstract class looks very similar to, to interfaces. And after this lesson, I am pretty sure that you will be able to confidently answer this question during the interviews, right? And very quickly, I want to just, uh, you know, give a heads up here. Please go ahead and watch my C Sharp interview questions, watch my Angular interview questions, watch my ASP.NET interview questions, and watch you know a lot of my interview questions you know which I've hosted on my YouTube channel. And also, I would like to make an announcement out here. Uh, I have launched my C Sharp interview questions and answers video course, you know, which discusses around 60 plus questions, you know, questions, you know, which uh, like garbage collector, you know, questions like stack and heap and value type, reference type, multi-threading, delegates, events, abstract classes, object-oriented programming, polymorphism, and so on. So I would suggest that please go ahead and visit my website, questpond.com and watch this course. So let us get started. The difference between abstract class versus interfaces. Now, before I put ahead an answer, I would like to make a statement here with all humility and with all respect to all the interviewers out there. This question of comparing an abstract class and interface is like comparing apples and hills. Yes, you heard it right. It is like comparing apples and hills. So let's first start with the perspective of abstract classes. An abstract class is a half-defined base class. I repeat this sentence. An abstract class is a half-defined parent class, right? For example, you can see that I have created a class customer here. So a customer who comes to the shop, you know, will have a name. He will do some inquiry and probably we will give him some discounts. Now let's assume that your requirement further details saying that there are different types of customers. So you have customers who are online customers, customers who are platinum customer, gold customer, discounted customers, customer who walk in, customer who talk on the phone, customer who come through online, right? And then you start thinking in a generic way and you say that, okay, whatever type of customers are there, they have a name, they do inquire about the product, but the discount calculation varies, right? So what you do, probably you think in a more generic manner and you make this as an abstract class. You say that, okay, this is an abstract class customer whose name we have defined it. Enquiry also, we have defined the logic for the enquiry, but this discount calculation varies, right? So what you do, you say that this method is abstract. So you say that the child classes Whichever are the child classes will go and implement and define their own discount method, right? So you can see now the boundary or the use of the of the abstract class is very clear. So in other words, now I can go and I can say here public class, let us say platinum customer, right? So this is a platinum customer. He will inherit from customer. So the name, the inquiry, the, the, the inquiry, everything is same, but the discount calculation will be something different here. In the same way, must be you have a walk-in customer. So let us say a customer who walks in, right? He also inherits from the same customer class and he also defines his own discount calculation and so on, right? So that means that this customer class is half defined and later the full definition is provided by the child classes. Now, when you come to interfaces, when you talk about interfaces, interfaces just have signature. So you can say here, I customer, and this will just have signature saying that a customer will have a name, a customer will have uh, inquiry, a customer will have discount calculation logic. So you can see here interfaces 
just have signature right and all the methods of interfaces are public so you can see just signature nothing else just signature discount this and this so if, if you look at the big technical difference is that in abstract class I can define some logic and something and some logic is not defined while in cases of interface I shouldn't be defining any kind of logic it is just the structure it is just the signature let's pause for a while and think why are interfaces empty with just shell methods and signature interfaces are kept without logic so that developers can focus on abstraction i repeat this sentence interfaces are kept without logic so that developer can focus purely on abstraction focus on planning focus on what are the most important things that has to be shown for that entity for example for this customer what is the most important thing that has to be shown name enquiry and discount now what happens is when you look at uh, abstract classes or any other class you start writing the logic once you start writing the logic right it is very difficult that you can think about pure abstraction because once you start writing the logic that means that you have already started executing you have already started coding so interfaces is like a planning phase you know where we pause for a while we look at those empty methods and we think that what is the most important thing that has to be shown outside once you know we know that yes these are the most important things to be shown outside we say that then every customer which is there in our project right should have these properties and these methods right so interface is like a planning phase where we plan our abstraction where we plan what has to be shown for that class outside later on you know when we start writing the concrete classes we don't focus on abstraction we actually try to follow that abstraction which has been planned and we write the logic so this is the planning phase while writing a class is the execution phase so so during planning you know thinking about code can lead to a bad abstraction once you st once you start thinking about code right your your abstraction can be wrong as well we can also conclude that there is a proper sequence of creation between the interface and the abstract class first the interface is created this is where we have the planning phase this is where we do the abstraction this is where we think you know that which are the most important things that has to be shown outside then we say okay across the classes in this whoever implements this i customer what are the common logic so all that common logic we define in the abstract class and whichever logic you know has to be implemented by the concrete class below we will we leave them half ended and then finally we have the concrete classes you know where the full logic is defined so first the interface is created second the abstract classes is created where we define the common logic and finally the full classes is created now it is not necessary that in a project developer follows it but i'm saying that if you have to put all of them together then this is the big picture you know what what should happen interface abstract class and concrete classes and when it comes to interfaces and abstract classes you will always see that developers say that interfaces are implemented while abstract classes are inherited the interviewer would love to hear this that interfaces are implemented they are contract so they are forced so even though here you can see the sign is same like you know the same colon sign for inherit like inheritance but this is impl implementation so interfaces are implemented while abstract classes are inherited so in the interview never ever try to say that interfaces are inherited say that interfaces are implemented while abstract classes are inherited as interfaces enforces things because they enforce a contract between the caller and the callee or you can say between the client and the library creator this provides great advantage in terms of any kind of unwanted impact analysis 
which can lead to a lot of confusion in the system means for example now because you know interface has this uh, contract right it's 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 an enforced contract now what happens is for example you can see here you know in, in two places this i customer is used so i customer uses the walk in customer and here we again have c1 i customer using the platinum customer now the library creator you know for example the person who is creating this walk in customer assume you know or let us say the person who is writing this abstract class he cannot go and he cannot change this method names randomly for example sometimes the library creator right the person who is creating the customer class can go and say okay i want to go and change this name to enquire so rather than having enquiry i want to change it to enquire if i did not have an interface you can see now uh, at this moment uh, i have an interface so it is complaining that the customer does not implement enquiry but if i did not have this interface i have no idea what can be the impact analysis of this for example you can see the time i have changed this method here that is impact analysis in lot of places so by having a interface here by having this strict contract right now i need to go and follow the interface so once i start following the interface everything falls in place so one of the biggest advantage of this enforcement of contract is that between the client and the library creator or you can say between the caller so this is the caller from here we are calling and per the caller and you know to whom we are calling right there is a strict contract so nobody can just go and break anything right and if you, even if you want to break you know then there has to be a certain agreement before you try to break it so again this is one of the biggest advantage of an interface so very quickly if the interviewer is asking you what is the difference between the abstract class and the interface right the first important thing about the interface it should come out is that interface is where you plan your abstraction interface is a contract interface you know enforces thing uh, to the classes while abstract classes abstract classes are half defined parent class if you want to go and share something in a parent child hierarchy right that's where you know you use an abstract class interfaces are implemented while abstract classes are inherited so both of them have complete distinct uh, behavior or they have you know uh, distinct areas you know where they serve but then why is this question asked in the interview again and again that what is the difference between an abstract class and an interface so let me come to that point now this abstract class which is an half defined parent class if you stretch this abstract class to a level if you go and if you stretch this abstract class to a level you know where you make it completely abstract means what i mean is for example let me go and comment this so let me comment this so let us say now this abstract class out here if i go and if i make all the methods as abstract now look at this if i say this inquiry is abstract if i say this property is abstract right you can see that i have i'm i'm making all the methods and the properties as abstract so now if you see here this is the interface and this is the abstract class now if you ask me technically there is no difference because if i implement i customer i have to implement all the methods you know for example if i implement i customer because this is an, this is an interface i have to implement all the methods in the same way if i implement the abstract class customer here also i need to go and implement all the methods right all the methods all the properties so technically there is no difference but what we have what we are trying to do here is that we are trying to say that sword can also cut vegetables absolutely you pulled up this abstract class to such a level 
you made it so abstract that now it is an interface, right? So if this is a situation, then what is the difference, right? But again, this is a fundamental mistake actually. Abstract class are supposed to have something half defined. But now, you know, because there is a technical loophole and you exploited that technical loophole and you said that, no, like, I would like to make all of my methods abstract. Definitely now it is looking like an interface, right? But in this case also, there is a, there is an issue, right? So let, let me talk about it. Now assume that you have this walk-in customer, right? So a, a person who is a walk-in customer, you say, okay, I'm inheriting. Definitely this is still inheritance, but technically this is implementation now, right? You are implementing like an interface, fine. So I say walk-in customer, you know, he comes, he inquires, he gets some discounts, great, right? Now, let us say you have some other customer, let's say uh, uh, a platinum customer, right? He also inherits from this customer and definitely he has to implement everything. Okay, this is also good. But now, let us say you have a lead and you say, okay, this lead, a lead means what? A lead means a person who comes to your shop, he has a name, he does inquiry, but he does not buy anything from you, right? So he looks like a customer, you know, completely, he does everything like a customer, but the only thing what he does not do is that he does not buy anything from your shop, right? So now let us say that you say, okay, the lead also looks like a customer and you force him to use this abstract class. Now, if you see this here, if you, if you watch here, yes, lead has a name, lead has an inquiry, and lead has a discount. Now, lead does not buy anything. So, having a discount over here is a problem. Now, you are stuck. So, you can see now, now this abstract class, you know, which is acting like an interface, right? is forcing everything down below its child classes. So must be now you will say that, okay, let me let me go and change this. Let me create two abstract classes, no problem. Now, so you can see here, I've created a separate class called as an inquiry customer who will not have discount because he does not buy anything. He will not have discount. He will only have name and inquiry while the customer will have name, he will have inquiry, he will have a discount and so on, right? So what we will do is this customer will have discount calculation as well, right? So now you'll say that, okay, um, you know, if you say you want to only, let's say for example, a lead, you will say a lead will inherit from inquiry customer, fine. A lead will inherit from inquiry customer and uh, he has a name, he has the inquire method, very good. Now, what about the walk-in customer? So, he'll say, okay, walk-in customer, walk-in customer will inherit from both of them. He will inherit from inquiry customer, Frank, fine, fine. He will inherit from inquiry customer because uh, you need the name, he will definitely inquire, right? And he will say that, okay, like he will also inherit from customer, he will, you will also say that he will inherit from customer, but now in abstract classes, you cannot do multiple inheritance. In other words, you can't do multiple inheritance at all in .NET, in C Sharp, right? So this is not working, right? So you can't do this. You can't say, take something from inquiry customer, take something from customer and create a walk-in customer. Now you can see that you are stuck. You are stuck here because abstract classes are inherited and there is no multiple inheritance for abstract classes and concrete classes. So the sword, you know, by which you were cutting vegetables, it is probably you managed to cut a carrot, probably you managed to cut a cucumber, but now you can't cut a garlic. It is becoming difficult, right? But now let us look at interfaces, right? So if you look at interfaces, in interfaces, we can do multiple inheritance. So in interfaces, I can do like this. 
one is i customer and i can say one is i inquiry so i inquiry right so inquiry has the name and he will inquire right while uh, in case of customer he just has a discount now here i can say yes so let me go and delete all this now because interfaces allows multiple inheritance so you can see here i can say i inquiry comma i customer so he gets a name and an inquiry from here and customer gets a discount from here and this perfectly works well while if you just say inquiry customer right if you just say i inquiry here right if you just say i inquiry what happened mm -hmm. Uh, let me delete this uh, you know I had this abstract class here so let me, so now I inquiry uh, 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 uh. let me you know I had created this abstract class let me comment it so I inquiry yeah so this I inquiry now implement interface now this will only have name and inquiry. So you can see because you know interfaces can plug and play, right? Because it can do multiple inheritance, it is becoming very difficult. So coming again to that point, so what's the difference between a pure abstract class and an interface? Well, technically, yes, that abstract class looks like an interface. It can work till a certain extent, but it is a wrong design. It is a wrong design. An abstract class should have some implementation. If it is not having some implementation, then the existence of that abstract class is doubted. So just answering this, this specific scenario, which comes in the, inter, in the interview that, what if I have a pure abstract class? Yes, if you have a pure abstract class, it becomes like an interface. But then there are these scenarios, you know, where suddenly you need multiple inheritance and multiple inheritance is not possible in an abstract class. And that can lead to technical issues, you know, as you go ahead uh, with complex scenarios. Now, if you see this example, this is a classic example of abstraction failure. This is a classic example, you know, wherein we fail to identify two different abstractions. One abstraction was, you know, we have a customer who has who just comes from inquiry and another one we have a customer who inquires and also buys something right so that's why you know interfaces helps you to identify such close abstraction of families the whole goal of you know wherein the interfaces do not have any logic is that it gives you a coolness of mind it says that do not think about the logic first thing that what are the abstractions of your project, right? So you can see here interfaces helped us to identify abstraction, like there is a customer and there's a customer who does not buy, who just inquires and a customer who buys. Now later on, once you have identified the, identified the family of abstractions, then you can have abstract classes. So across that family, you can say that, okay, these are the common things and you can apply abstract classes. So first, start with the interface and identify the family of abstractions. Once you have identified the family of ab abstractions, then across that family, create a common abstract class, you know, which will have those common logic, you know, which is shared among the concrete classes. So something is half defined and something is later fully defined by the concrete classes. So let us try to summarize now what we have learned so that, you know, we can put down uh, we can answer this question properly before the interviewer. Point number one, interface is a contract. Interface helps us to identify abstractions, while abstract classes are 
half defined parent class and during the interview always emphasize that abstract classes are inherited while interfaces are implemented there are scenarios you know where you can make an abstract class completely an interface there are scenarios you know wherein the abstract class can be pulled up technically and you can make it a pure interface but then that's that's there is some design flaw out there right even if you are able to do it later on you know when it when it comes to multiple inheritance you will have issues so interfaces have multiple inheritance while abstract classes do not have multiple inheritance in abstract class some of the methods are defined some of the logic are defined while some of the methods can be abstract but in case of interface everything is abstract you have to implement all the methods so that brings us to the end of this video i hope that you have enjoyed this video please do visit questpond.com please watch my c sharp interview questions and answers video course which has around 60 questions happy learning happy job hunting